Look, we're team Nicole here, but she did dominate uh, headlines last week in Cannes, Nicole Kidman. She killed it on the red carpet, uh, but then people were talking about her new look. Mm. So how do you turn back the clock without freezing your face? Well, cosmetic surgeon Dr. Will Mooney is here to tell us. Lots of stars in their 40s are, are, are making, you know, some mistakes in terms of this, aren't they? Like... Catherine Zeta-Jones is another yeah. culprit. Absolutely. It's uh, ageing gracefully versus ageing disgracefully. You know, I'm, I never stop being amazed considering what we stick in ourselves, expose ourselves to, how we treat our bodies. Humans look pretty good for a lot of their adult life. And I think genetics is the biggest thing that really dictates that. The mistake that I think a lot of people are making is trying to be suspended in time, OK? Mm -hmm. Catherine Zeta-Jones, I've got to say, really, I think that they might even be the other way around. But I think... I yep. think they are, aren't they? I think yes. they're swapped. Because I'm like, they she looks swapped. fine in 2014, <laughs> son. Yeah. <laughs> Catherine Zeta-Jones, one of the most beautiful women on the planet, she was, yeah. made the mistake of overfilling. And she tear troughs these bags. It's good as I get older, I can actually illustrate all the changes of ageing on me as time goes by. <laughs> tear Doc, troughs. Does, does overfilling go away? It does if you use hyaluronic acid, which most people do, okay. which is, which at least there's that small repose, that small saviour that we can, goes away and we can try what about, again. What about Liz Hurley? She's not with Shane anymore. We can say whatever we want I about her. I think that no. Liz Hurley looks amazing and she really is a, a tribute to the fact that growing up in an Australian sun versus growing up in an English sun makes a big difference. So that belting tan you've got when you're 20 is a time bomb for when you're 40. Probably the best anti-aging procedure she ever had was the boganectomy. But uh, oh. when, Shane, when Shane was removed. <laughs> but, yeah. but I think she looks great. I think she's got good balance with her face. And, you know, her lips, which were overdone in 04, she was always the pin-up girl for bad lips, are much more subtle now. And I think she looks pretty good. OK, what about uh, celebrities in their 50s? Meg Ryan, she was always that adorable girl next yeah. door. But she looks so different now. Yeah, that little apple cheek girl oh, next door. Yeah. Thing. Oh. You know, that classic line, I want what she's having. Not so much anymore, right? Mm -hmm. So I think that what we've done, once again, a little bit like uh, the... Uh, Zeta Jones, a little too much filler through the upper face and overdone with the lips. And it's a real shame because she's so beautiful and her whole shtick was she's natural. Dr. Seuss music yeah, that's exactly right. Her whole shtick was a natural look and I think that's what she's upended over here. Mm. What about Michelle Pfeiffer? Oh. Yeah, Pfeiffer, uh, you know. Pfeiffer. Look, Michelle Pfeiffer is naturally beautiful and I think she's done it right because she's let herself age a little naturally. Yeah. Now, there's some mistakes. She's got a little tetosis here, which means that eyelid's down a bit. But oh, she's oh. got lines. What that? She's What's got that? lines What's here. Tetosis? tetosis is when your eyelid falls a little bit. Now, that might be is from another medical thing. It could, it could happen from misplaced muscle relaxants. So, oh. look, the mistakes can occur, but I think big pictures she's done well. I think the basic rules are at your age, OK? Look age appropriate. Don't overfill, don't over paralyse, mm. and get happy because happiness is the, better than any other drug we can you supply. You always say happiness, don't you, Dr. Moore? Well, do. Thanks for joining us, buddy. Yeah, Up next.